painting element, how to paint spiky grass in broken light. By broken light I mean where you've got shadow being cast and then you've got a pop of light streaming through and just picking up those errant and those rumbling rags of grass. Now to do that I fashion my brush this way. I take this brush and I do this to it. See I push all those hairs around and really make them ragged. I really destroy the brush to be quite honest but that's perfect because this becomes then a grass brush. Now you watch how I use it though. Load some of that. Well let's go this colour here first, the darker colour. And push it through there. Look at that brush. See that paint is just sticking on there? Look. Now if I take this over here onto the painting and I just drag it up and down like that. Watch me do that again. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. See that light? It's streaming through from the right hand side here. Here we go again. There it is, taken from the bottom where it's hitting. And then it's going to find, I'm going to put some more yellow on this. Look at that yellow there. Oh, that's a juicy yellow. That's the yellow we want, the sun. Look at that popping on there again. Here we go again. Look at it. Look at that. Isn't that just magical? See, I tell you, you couldn't do that if you used a conventional brush. Now, how about where the grass meets the ground. Because where we've got that glow, we've got a second kick. Always where there's a highlight, there's a build of that highlight. So if it's a yellow, we go down to an orange. And that makes that final effect so much more powerful. Because then it becomes a real kick in the pants, not just a, a push along. Watch this. So over here, you'll notice, I've got a bit of red in that colour. And that's giving it a real glow. And I'm scumbling. I'm going up and down quickly. And I'm just making that bit of a glow at the bottom there. Here we go down here, watch this. A little bit of red. A little bit of the yellow. Back there again. There we are, see it on that brush? Well, here we go. Down that bottom there, there we go. Now, now that yellow there is gonna mean so much more Come back down and watch this again. And a bit of the red and a bit of that. Now if I put that under there, that yellow is going to fire up like a, well, like a Bunsen burner. And look at that. Now that's really got a glow to it. And those horses, when I finish this folks, those horses, it'll look like the front's on fire. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, a little bit more. I'm going to switch brush to this one. See that brush? All right. Now I'm going to make that into a bit of a chisel by drawing between my fingers. Like that. Now, with that, come over here and watch this. I'm going to take a little bit of that and a little bit of that. White and yellow. Now watch what I do. Hold it here and I'm going to drag it down. Again. 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 Again, again, look at that bit of grass there. Another one here, another one here, here. So with this brush, I'm able to complete the stems. There we go, painting grass in broken light. And how effective is it? And how much fun can you really have with painting? Join me next time on Elements of Painting. like my paintings why not subscribe to my youtube channel and go to my website roberthagen.com